we're cruising back, coming home. We're trying to make it home by Christmas Eve mm-hmm. of 2009. And uh, word got passed around that President Obama was going to make, uh, you know, he's going to address the, the world. Yeah. And he was going to make a very big announcement. And so we huddled around this super small, half static ridden TV. And on the, you were on the ship at the time? Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we're all just like, you know, smushed into this, this room <laughs> in the in the bowels of this, this Navy ship. And uh, we're, we're watching this, this address. And President Obama gives a thumbs up and decides to send, I believe, a troop surge of 30,000 uh, mm-hmm. troops and allied forces into Afghanistan as maybe not a final push, but to really... Uh, you know, uh, increase and solidify efforts to continue uh, fighting the Taliban right. and their, you know, not only kind of terrorist activities within their country and around the world, uh, but also, uh, and what I think a lot of people miss in the big, you know, mainstream media and political side of things, you know, we were there helping people that are seriously oppressed oh yeah and truly truly struggling i mean you know it kind of surprises people when i say you know to have a pair of old raggedy sandals on your feet you know is huge Mm -hmm. like you know talking to kids that through a translator would ask me and i talk about this story in the book but that would ask me is everywhere in the world like Disney World or is is everywhere in America like Disney World oh. and can you really just go into a room in your house and turn a magical knob and get fresh clean drinking water and what really? is what is school like and just Isn't that crazy yeah yeah absolutely we don't think about that absolutely and and you know we can go to our jobs and we can focus on our jobs and not have to worry that we're going to come home and our family is going to be killed, right. stoned to death, or beheaded because you believe in something different than your next door neighbor mm-hmm. or you were caught reading a first grade level book. I mean, it's just so crazy. So, you know, no matter what the big picture reasons are, you know, go in there to, to help people. And so we knew when he gave that thumbs up that we were going to be one of the first units in line to push in Afghanistan. Because you had already been in the process of training. You just got done with this or wrapping up this current deployment. You're, you're basically mission ready at this point. Correct. Okay. A- a- g- getting mission ready mm-hmm. and becoming more cohesive as a unit. Sure. You know, Cause yeah. even yeah. though we were on this deployment, we were still only three or four months into the real Marine Corps. And so, you know, I think probably our higher ups, obviously um, leaders throughout government and Department of Defense probably knew what Mm -hmm. was coming down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And that unofficially without us knowing kicked off that work up to start Uh, getting ready. Yeah. But yeah, man, we got back just in time for Christmas Spent a few days with the family on leave, and then uh, started that seven-month workup. Is that how long the workup is? Seven months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and uh, maybe longer, maybe shorter, depending on when yeah, when sure. you're set to ship 